Welcome to the show. Well, Ted, we've got a couple of interesting and rather oddball cars to test this week. That's right. We've got two companies, one of which is basically finished here in North America, and the other one has had its share of ups and downs. Well, that's right. Purchase pulling out of the market. We thought we'd test one before they made a complete retreat. Yeah, I want to stress that all Subaru has had their share of troubles not pulling out of the North American market. Many people still associate the name Subaru with a very successful legacy wagon, but they do make another compact four-wheel drive station wagon. It's the Loyal, formerly known as the GL10, and is also available as a four-door sedan. This model was Subaru's bread and butter for at least 10 years, and is the kind of car many people still associate with the name Subaru. Slightly undersized, a little rough around the edges, but usually very dependable. Power is still provided by a horizontally opposed, or boxer, four-cylinder engine that displaces 1.8 liters and develops 90 horsepower at 5,200 RPM. Two gearboxes are offered five-speed manual and three-speed automatic, but you cannot get the automatic with a four-wheel drive. Our five-speed Leal delivered 9.9 .9 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and a thrifty 7.6 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. Prices start at $13,299, and there really aren't much in the way of options. Air conditioning and cruise control, which are dealer installed. Like all of Subaru's line, the Loyal comes with a three-year, 60,000 kilometer basic warranty. Subaru's four-wheel drive system for the Loyal is of the on-demand variety, which means that all you do is press this shift lever-mounted button and presto, four-wheel drive, at any time, at any speed. The Loyal is not a down-and-dirty bog hopper, but in snow or heavy rain is exceptionally sure-footed. In many ways, I prefer on-demand four-wheel drive. It allows for better fuel consumption and drivetrain wear is reduced, although Subaru's full-time four-wheel drive models are noted for their durability. The Loyal also has one of my all-time favorite features, a hill holder, which means that when you're stopped in traffic on a hill, the car will not roll back, even if you take your foot off the brake. It's not a big deal, but unique in the industry. Incidentally, this feature is not available on automatic transmission models or the Legacy Turbo. The Loyal four-wheel drive wagon comes with the usual mod cons, split folding rear seat, analog instrumentation, almost 2,000 liters of cargo capacity, lots of storage and stowage space, tilt steering wheel, remote outside mirrors, and rear window wiper washer. What it does not have are power windows and central locking, which are not available with this model, but are optional on the two-wheel drive version. One thing that surprised me in our test car was the ventilation controls, which were faulty. No matter what setting I chose, all I could get was air up through the windshield defogger, and it got annoying after a while. The Loyal four-wheel drive wagon also needs more power. Subaru has utilized this particular engine for at least a decade, and it's starting to show its age, especially in low RPMs. So this is a pretty basic car with few frills. It won't exactly stir the blood, but for everyday transportation, with moderate off-road ability and a very reasonable price tag, it's tough to beat. Not a lot of competition for Subaru in this rather narrow market segment. The Plymouth Colt Vista and Honda Civic can be had as four-wheel drive station wagons, and their own Legacy L is also a rival, but with a price tag at least $3,000 higher. The Volkswagen Passat four-wheel drive wagon is also a contender, but again, with a higher price tag. I can only give this thing a driving dollar value of half a tank, Tony. I liked it, but I thought the assembly was really quite disappointing. Well, I'll tell you something, I don't like it very much either. And, you know, the fact is that Subaru, sometimes a company can be its own worst enemy. They came up with this wonderful car, the Legacy, mm -hmm. which we both like. It's a great car, mm -hmm. and you go back to a car like this, it's hard to believe that this car once sat almost, somewhere at the top of the range. That's right. It? It's almost as though they're ignoring this car, and they're saying, well, the Legacy's done very well for us. I never mind about the Loyal. Who cares about it anyway? I mean, it's not like Subaru to make a car this badly. Usually, well, they're very good. They are ignoring it, really, I guess. All the, all the concentration is going on the Legacy and the new SVX, SVX so yeah. Sports Coupe, which yeah. are wonderful cars. Mm -hmm. This car, I thought the engine was rough, the brake was spongy, the gearbox was terrible. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the worst Japanese car I've driven in a long time. And after we shot this, uh, the footage, when well, a couple of things happened, the headlights refused to work, uh, they, uh, sorry, refused to shut off, we had to defuse them, and a panel off the back tailgate fell out. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really, I mean, people yeah. were saying, what kind of piece of junk is well, this? Well, maybe you know? they're, they're concentrating on those legacies, but, but there is hope on the horizon. I was, mm -hmm. um, we were both at a Subaru plant not too long ago in Japan, mm -hmm. 
and spied on the test track, a, a yeah. car driving around which has to be the next generation yeah, I Loyal, think it's, I think and it looked great, and I'll bet you it's a much better car. Yeah, I it. think it's safe to say that the Loyal's days are numbered. The, what they've done is they just changed the name. They should have kept GL10. I think they probably would have sold more, car, more cars, but it's not going to be around for much probably longer. Probably because Loyal is going to mean cheap, but on the other hand, it's a great buy. Uh, it is four-wheel yeah. drive. It's a wagon. It's got lots of room in it. I, I, I like the instruments and so forth. There's a lot going for it. Yeah. Uh, good little car yeah. from some points of view. Some points of view. Okay, to red light, green light. What we don't like about it is a lack of power, really slow and low RPMs. Assembly quality, disappointing. Outdated design, it's this, this car's 10 years old, to put it bluntly. On the other hand, it has a good price, and I love that little hill holder. <laughs> so once again, I can only give uh, the Loyal a driving dollar value of half a tank. It needs more power, and assembly quality was really bad. Not one of Subaru's best, Ted. Stay with us, we'll be right back.